Make sure to use code BANGLE at sign up on FanDuel for a $20 deposit bonus and check out my second channel for other games coming up like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Call of Duty Black Ops 4 as well as my third channel with collaborations with some of your favorite YouTubers. Let's get into the video. All right, I'll level with you. This video is probably more for me than it is for you. Uh, you see the title. However, I feel like this is probably going to be more a year in review and that's just a point I'm going to talk on. Um... And it's why I haven't been playing Madden 19 as much. Because I know a lot of people are you know, consistently asking me, Hey, now that Giants franchise is over, are you going to bring a new franchise to the channel? The typical, where are the rebuilds? Blah, 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 blah. Um, and um, I am an EA Sports game changer, whatever that means. And, and to be honest with you, it feels almost like a farce to some degree. Because, I mean, I don't impact the game. That, that's just the reality. Uh, there are guys that give feedback or whatever, but they're going to do what they're going to do at the end of the day. It doesn't matter. And they have these events and things where they fly people out and they, they test the game, give feedback, all sorts of different things. And uh, They've got people that are flying down there that have played the game less the entire year than I've played in a week. And it, it just it's just frustrating to me to, uh, to be in this position. I'm not taking a coin sponsor. And if you guys didn't know, if you see those intros in front of people's videos, they're lucrative deals. They're, they're worth it to take. And yet, I don't and others don't because of whatever type of relationship they want to have with EA or Madden or whatever it may be. Uh, but the reality is that I, I don't have any impact on the game whatsoever, or at least that's how it feels like. And I don't really want to put anyone on blast here, so I really think I'm going to stray away from that. But I haven't been enjoying the game. That That's pretty much what it comes down to. Uh, the gameplay feels worse than it ever has, in my opinion. That's just me, and I play a lot of versus to CPU, obviously. I don't play a lot against other people, so maybe the online gameplay is better. But when I play offline, I play against the on-badden CPU. It's broken. It doesn't work at all. It, zones don't work. The cover four concepts don't work at all. The safeties decide to play man sometimes, and their actual... Uh, zone responsibilities nobody does what they're supposed to do and I understand that it's difficult to code into the game however for 11 players on defense and 11 players on offense at the same time all with different individual responsibilities but it is your job to do so and when things don't work as intended it's extremely frustrating and when I'm out here in Giants franchise it was so evident in the playoffs where I'm calling zone concepts it's the perfect call for the situation it's the perfect play call to combat their play call, and then I get beat down the seam when I run in cover four because my safeties come down and play the the, uh, the thirds of the field and, and play short like they're in a like hook zones almost over the middle in, or curl flats down the side. And it's what am I supposed to do there when the game wants me to lose and, and players don't react to the ball in certain situations. The game, bottom line, has not been fun for me to play from any type of gameplay perspective. And... Not to even mention franchise. It's the same every year. It is. It's the exact same. And I know they bring in different things, like custom draft classes. All right, well, that's that's kind of a new feature. I know they had it where you could import draft classes from NCAA 14 back when that was a game, which we'll talk about that in a moment. Um, but that's not a groundbreaking feature. They've pretty much already had that. Aside from that, what else has there been? Practice squad implementation? Are you kidding me? Who? How many of you guys that play franchise consistently ever even look at the practice squad? It is a borderline useless feature. And I know it creates that realism for some of you psychos that want to play like you're running an actual franchise. I get that. Down to the every specific detail. And I think there should be reworking of contracts and the ability to kind of change those and, and negotiate in ways that are more realistic and makes more sense. Nobody uses the practice squad. And that was their big feature announcement. I don't care that that's a feature. All right, that's fine. It's a, it's a decent feature to add into the game. That was their big come to franchise. We got practice squad now. Come on. And when I'm throwing out ideas for, I don't know, I guess, I guess I've been a game changer for, I don't know, a year or two. And I mean, nothing even seems like it's being considered. And I understand that there are a million different people throwing out a million different ideas. And I get that. And I'm not saying that 
my opinion values or is more valuable than any one of theirs. But when I'm playing the game, I probably spent more time in franchise making content uh, and, you know, otherwise more so than anybody else. There's no way that anyone's taken and spent more time in franchise than I have. When I've run my Giants franchise of 50 plus episodes, which went four seasons or five seasons deep, and when I'm doing these rebuilds, when I'm experimenting and going, you know, three to five seasons deep with each of these teams, and I've done probably about 40 of those this year, I've spent more time in franchise than anybody else has. I, I, I think it has to be said, at least from a content creation perspective, no one's even close. And when there's going to be an event in Thanksgiving time, like in, in November, and they invite me out, and then it eventually fell through, it got canceled, they're like, all right, we're going to do something else in January, we'll let you know. And then there's an event going down, like right now, in January, and I didn't get invited, and they just don't seem to care. And I mean, that, that's fine, they don't have to, it's just, I'm not going to lie if I'm going to say that's not frustrating when myself and plenty of others are not enjoying the game whatsoever and it seems like they're content with being stuck in place and you could take that as me being salty or whatever but it's, it's frustrating when i gotta essentially play this game for a living for my job which i know there are a ton of worse things to do i get that i understand that but it, it's it's not fun for me at, at the moment at all and it hasn't been for the past few months is really what it comes down to uh so i've been playing ncaa 14 and it's kind of amazing because NCAA 14, the gameplay is is uh, not fantastic either. Like the sliders on Heisman are are pretty broken as well, and the zones don't work at all in that game either. But you know what? There are less glitches, bugs, and exploits in NCAA 14 than there are currently in Madden 19. And this game came out in what 2013. It's just it's just unbelievable to me that. A game like NCAA, which seems to have every feature under the sun, is so, so fun. So fun. It makes you actually want to play the game and enjoy it. I'm up to recording in Season 6 of NCAA 14 with Ozark State Outlaws Dynasty. Season 6. I'm just into uploading Season 3. I, I am three seasons ahead. Because I'm, I was having so much fun recording and playing. That's, that's what I want to do. I want to have fun recording. I want to have fun during the entire experience because the series is going to come out better. And, and bottom line, it's going to be content that I enjoy making, right? And then with Madden, it's just, it's more tedious. It's more of a job than a hobby, than, than something I enjoy doing. And I, don't, I know I'm in a fantastic spot. I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm not saying you feel sorry for me in any sort. I, I hope no one's getting that at all. But it's just frustrating when the game, Madden 19, I should say, is so bad. Uh, and it's so so unenjoyable for me to play and I, I just can't I can't deal with it So will I be doing another Madden 19 franchise before 20? Maybe uh, I'll be doing the rebuilds when I feel like them maybe once a week or two a month or something like that I'm not really sure three a month um, But but bottom line is it's not that fun for me to play So you've been seeing me do a ton of NCAA content and more NFL content because that's what it is at the end of the day I'm an NFL fan. I like football. I like college football. I like, you know, everything under the sun with, with football. Anything. So that's why you see me play Madden. Because I get to, you know, live out my fantasies uh, in a game. I mean, that's that's really why anyone when anyone plays, uh, re really, in it because it's fun. But Madden, it just hasn't been for me. So this is kind of like now, moving on into the next part of the video. I've kind of ranted about Madden for a little while. But um, I'll tell you. This year has been pretty great for me. Uh, my growth hasn't been what I would have wanted on YouTube, but it's been pretty good. I had uh, over 2018, I had kind of like the same of what I had in 2017, which is like plus 30,000 subscribers, which is pretty good. I'm at 85 right now, and uh, you guys have really been enjoying the NFL content as of late, so that's been fantastic for me. It's been really, really fun to do that, uh, and that's that's really what I like doing. That's why you saw me create rebuilds, and I, I did that back. Uh, in would have been 2012 um or maybe 2013 i think it was late madden 13 early madden 25 and that's why you see me like you saw me started doing those and that obviously wasn't on this channel that was on my old one the madden squad with a pal of mine project j or ultra banana man whatever you know him as if you know him at all which i'm assuming that many of you don't but he's my good friend james bottom line and uh that was when it was really fun to play and i got to live out my my gm fantasies uh through a virtual video game 
And that was what was really fun for me at the time. But I would say over the course of the past year, those get tedious and it's like doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. And it's, I don't know. It's an interesting spot, but Ozark State Outlaws Dynasty has been incredible for me so far. I've enjoyed the hell out of that. I've enjoyed doing the NFL content. Uh, I've recently started up the 7th Round Bus podcast with Wheels, which is an NFL uh, football podcast. Next episode of that should be airing sometime, or sometime tomorrow or the next day, probably Friday or Saturday as you guys see this. Uh, so, I mean, I've been having just such a blast doing YouTube recently. I'm more motivated than I've ever been. And it doesn't have anything to do with Madden 19 because I'm having less fun with Madden than I have uh, almost ever. So I know this is kind of a weird rant and kind of talking about my uh, ability as a game changer of sorts, which appears to be none. And this isn't a shot at EA or any of the game changers, anybody that enjoys playing Madden. It's just how I feel about the game and uh, how I feel about my influence and impact on the game, which is uh, nothing at all. So I don't know where I where I go from here. I don't know. I don't know where I stand. But that's how I feel. I wanted to let you guys know. Uh, I wanted to rant a little bit. I'm excited about the future. I'm excited about my channel. I think we're coming up on 100K. We're on the home stretch. Sometime in the next six months, I should have 100,000 subscribers, and that is incredible to me. I never expected at any point when I was doing YouTube that I'd ever even come close to 100,000. It's just, it's unbelievable to me. And to have so many of you guys that enjoy the videos on a regular basis and in the comments and all that, um, even though some of the comments frustrate me to no end um i do enjoy you guys i do enjoy the supporters streaming on twitch link in the description has been a ton of fun making like fun twitter videos like the philip rivers impression that kind of blew up on twitter it has like twenty five thousand likes uh, and like five thousand retweets so i mean just these different avenues of content creation have really been what's propelled me these last couple months and it's been so fun to do so hope to continue that and uh just keep on working keep on grinding towards that 100k it's the ultimate goal and then 100k, 250, 500, 750, maybe as impossible as it th seems in my mind right now, maybe even a million, but 100,000 to me, uh, you know, four or five years ago seemed literally impossible. So who knows, four or five years down the line of YouTube still going strong, however that happens to be, maybe a million uh, isn't so far, far fetched, but, uh, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Let me know what you think. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.